Morning, Holy Trinity. Today is Thursday, March the 4th, and you're here with your host, Mr. Gasillis. Please rise for your national anthem. Today we begin with a statement acknowledging the land upon which we gather. We acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabe Nations. We recognize that the Brant Haldeman Norfolk Catholic District School Board and its schools have many ties to the Six Nations of the Grand River and Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations, situated on the traditional land of the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabe in the two row wampum and the one dish, one spoon treaty areas. As a Catholic learning community and as treaty people ourselves, we strive to build the kingdom of God where all people are treated with respect and dignity as we move forward as allies towards truth and reconciliation. So we begin this morning in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, actually, the church celebrates uh, a saint, Saint Casimir, not to be confused with the Led Zeppelin song that uh, uh, we may know. Uh, but uh, Saint Casimir, he actually, he's the patron saint of Poland and Lithuania, um, and he was actually a king, uh, a king's son, so he was a prince, uh, and, and he was the second born, and he was actually, he had a lot of sway, and I think he's a really good example of, of what Lent should be for us, um, although he lived it every day. Um, even though he was a king, you know, when we may think of, um, think of Disney princesses and stuff like that, or royalty, you know, a lot of times they're very spoiled or they have very entitled. Uh, and he was very down to earth, which was very out of character. And of course, really, people really uh, connected with that. Uh, he wore plain clothes. Uh, he rejected the ordinary comforts. Um, even, even his bed, you know, he had, uh, he would sleep sometimes on the floor. Um, and so, as we continue to journey through Lent, maybe we can ask for the intercession of St. Casimir uh, to help us really recognize what we're doing and why we're doing it, you know? And maybe we find ourselves, uh, we have a bit of a platform, you know? We all have social media, and we're, we all have people listening to us, you know? And how are we using our voice? Are we using it to build people up or tear people down? So as we continue, uh, Throughout our day, we just uh, ask St. Casimir for his intercession. And we continue to ask that, God, you bless us on our journeys with Lent, help us persevere, uh, and continue to grow closer to you and not have people draw closer to us, but have them recognize you in us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Morning, Titans. Uh, first, I want to start off by apologizing for our technical difficulties. Sometimes... Uh, Little gremlins get into our network and things uh, change. Uh, so I want to welcome everyone to Thursday, March the 4th, the only day where you wake up and you're told to do something, which is March 4th. Um, just want to first start off with a warm welcome back to uh, Mrs. Burnett. Uh, Mrs. Burnett is back in our guidance department, so any students wishing to make a, uh, an appointment to see her can send her an email, or you could uh, book an appointment through the BHN Hub. Grads, uh, this year's grads, don't forget, today and tomorrow are grad picture retakes. Last chance to get on the... On the grad composite, so please take advantage of that. Tomorrow afternoon is our semester two photo retakes, uh, so if you weren't here semester one or missed uh, photos semester one or want your picture retaken, it'll, be ha it'll happen tomorrow afternoon. 
Remember, tomorrow is a spirit wear day, so please bring a uniform shirt that you can throw on just before uh, your picture. Uh, back to the grads. Uh, grads, please uh, make sure you get out and vote. Uh, go on to the BHN Hub. Uh, voting for valedictorian started yesterday and it closes tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, so please go on the Hub and vote for someone that you want to represent your class at this year's graduation. Don't forget student council applications are due uh, by March 10th. They're currently on the BHN Hub for students to access. And tomorrow is the last day uh, to submit art for the uh, HT Jack chapter art contest. Uh, you've seen uh, on scrolling on announcements, there's been some uh, awesome submissions already. So if you'd like to submit and win some great prizes, please send those in. Any questions, please email Mrs. Slatt. And yesterday was our uh, was Wednesday in Block uh, D. We did our uh, brain breaks. It's something we're trying to do to break up uh, kind of the quadmester, the long school day uh, during the middle of the week, having a brain break and a fun activity that uh, goes very quick. So uh, yesterday we had two cahoots. And uh, one was on celebrities and one was on general knowledge. And our two winners for the cahoots, first the winner for the celebrities was Miss Kitchen's class. So congratulations, Miss Kitchen. Your class will get a, a class set of Kapow Pops, very exciting. And the general knowledge uh, winners uh, is Mr. Vanderweel. So Mr. Vanderweel's class, you will also get Kapow Pops. So congratulations to both classes. We had 20 classes. Uh, participating. We want to see all 40 classes participating. It's a great way just to break up the day and have some fun uh, on a Wednesday afternoon. So that's it from us Titans. We're going to end with a promo on why you should join Student Council. Have a great day. One may believe that Student Council is all about fair, winning awards, and being high in academics, but that isn't the case at all. Well, maybe except the part about fair. Student Council is way more than just all of that. Student Council is about family, making friendships, and being a part of a community that accepts everyone. We strive to make Holy Trinity a better place and fun too. It doesn't always just end with our council members either. You begin to make connections with administration, teachers, and it can even branch out into your local community, your friends, and even your family. Why should you join council? Well. Let's hear from some of our members. Hi, I'm Eliana Stern, and one of my favorite things about Student Council is how collaborative it is. Hi, I'm Sylvia, a grade 11 member of Council, and for me, Council is fun, inclusive, and very involved. Hi, my name is Logan, I'm in grade 12 on Student Council, and I would describe Council as welcoming and energetic. Hi, I'm Adi, a grade 9 in the Holy Trinity Student Council, and if I had to describe the Council in three words, it'd be fun, amazing and productive. We are excited for this up and coming 2021-2022 council and we hope to see you there.